Hello, and in this video, we're going to use our VEX IQ parts to uh, create the pulley mechanism in Onshape. Uh, so to do this, I have my VEX IQ parts I've imported into Onshape already opened up. I'm in Assembly. Uh, I'm going to rename it right now. Uh, that way it says it's the pulley mechanism. So I'm going to just rename it my pulley mechanism and set that up as an assembly. So first, we've got to enter our pieces. So i got to enter it. It tells us we need a 10 millimeter pulley. I'm going to zoom out so we can see where everything goes. I'm actually going to move that off the origin to help us in a little bit. Uh, then we just keep adding the pieces we need. So we also need a 40 millimeter pulley. So I'm going to place that one on there. Uh, then we need two of the 4X shaft by two inch. I need two of them. I'm going to put one by each pulley. So I click and place one, click and place the second one. And then I also need the one by eight beam for it all to go into uh, so that gives me these pieces i need uh once you have your pieces you hit your green check i'm going to move this beam just so we can place it here in a second uh first thing we want to do is we want to fix something in place uh to get this arranged how we see it in pltw that same lay type of layout all i'm going to do is a fashion and i'm going to get my uh my one by eight beam i'm going to get anything that faces up it doesn't have to be perfect and get that and then put it on my origin and I want it so it's face, the blue arrow faces outward. And then it's standing upright so I'm going to rotate it so it's laid flat. And to rotate it like we saw in POTW, I'm just going to do an offset. And you can see it's a red direction so red is going to be the X it looks like. And I'm just going to rotate it 90 degrees to spin it around. Uh, it should be the Y direction. Hit our green check and that sets up basically how we see it on field. Uh, next, it wants us to put this uh, pulley onto our uh, axle. So we can do that while we're in this fasten mate. So I'm going to zoom in on my pulley. I'm going to just get the outer ring, so this ring, and get the center of that. And then I'm going to place that, fasten that to the outer edge of my uh, axle. And again, I get right in the center, and I place it. And it says to offset it by 0.5. You see the blue arrow going up, so we need to go in that direction. 0.5, and it looks like it's going to be a negative 0.5 to make it go down onto the X. Hit our green check to accept, and that places that pulley in place. Uh, same process with the second pulley. Again, it's a fasten mate. I'm going to zoom in on that, get my ring, get the center of the ring, and then go to my axle and get the center of my axle. And again, it's offset. It's going to go down, so it's going to be negative 0.5 again. Hit our green check to accept, and now we have both those pulleys fastened to our axles. Uh, then they want to do a revolve mate to place it on the beam. Uh, you can fix your beam. I haven't fixed my beam yet. I'll get around to that eventually. Uh, but you can fix your beam. Since we fasten it, it's not going to move though. Uh, so then the next thing we're going to do is a revolve mate. I'm going to zoom in on this axle. We're going to get the same spot we did when we placed the pulley on it, that top center. So if I can get the top center. We get that top center, and then it says to put it in the second hole, so we're going to get the center of that second hole. Uh, this time it wants us to offset it by one inch, so I'm going to offset it by one inch. Again, if it goes the wrong direction, just change it to negative one, or if you need to flip it around your primary axis, you can do that as well if your pulley's on the back side. Uh, so that sets our first pulley up. Uh, same thing with the second pulley. So I'm going to come on the axle, get the center of my axle on the edge. And it wants to go to the second hole from the opposite end, it says. So we go there, place it. Uh, you can see this time it's facing offset. If I do my offset by one inch, it moves it in. I hit my green check, and we get our pulley in there. Uh, if we check from above, it should be lined up and so that in alignment uh, so that sets up your system now we want to set it up so as the one gear gear or pulley moves the other pulley moves as well uh, to do that we're going to use a gear relation so we click our gear relation uh, we got to tell it what mates we want to have the gear relation which is going to have to be a revolve mate so I hit revolve one and then revolve two and i mate 
to use that. Uh, then I have to get the ratio. Right now, it sells one to one. If the pulleys were the same size, that would be appropriate. Uh, but in this case, I have a 10 millimeter and a 40 millimeter. Uh, so the one's four times as large. I click the smaller one first, the bigger one second. Uh, so I'm going to do one divided by four or 0.25 for my gear ratio. I hit my green check to accept, and that allows that gear ratio to sell up. If you want to animate it, which it wants you to animate it, uh, you can go to either one of the revolved, depending which one you want to drive. Let's say we want the 10 millimeter to drive. I just right click on that and hit animate. Uh, to keep it moving, I'm going to hit loop. And there's one thing I need to fix, and I will show you here in a second what that is. So when I do that, I hit play, and you can see they move, but they move in opposite directions in this case. So I'm going to hit the X, and we're going to go back to our gear and edit that and all you have to do is hit reverse direction and that's going to make it move correctly in the correct motion uh, so now if i revolve one and i animate and i again i'm just going to put it in loop so it continually plays otherwise it's going to reciprocate go one way and then stop and go the other and you can see the little one's moving and the big one moves as a result of that little one moves i can do the same thing if my big one was driving i can go to the revolve two and animate that Again, I'm going to put it on loop, and this way it's a little easier to see that gear ratio, that gear ratio there. So the big one's moving slow, and you can see the little one's moving much faster, uh, and that has to do with that gear ratio there. Uh, so hopefully this helps you to set up your pulley mechanism. Uh, typically this would have a belt in real life. It'd have a belt going around those two pulleys, and you'd see that drive mechanism through the belt. Uh, thank you, and good luck.